So for 2023, that this is the free planners that I purchased beginning of the year. Actually, last year when I pre-order, and I have been using it um, most of the time of this year. But when I'm not using it, I'm, I am traveling. I'm busy with life and basically on the go all the time. So I didn't have time to sit down and plan. But I'm pr uh, this year is pretty good because I haven't purchased another planner system or anything added to my my planner lineup. And because that also means I save money in a sense, I guess. Um, what about you? Let me know if you have changed your planner system throughout the year or what happened. What's your plans for this year? Um, okay, so... The number one, this one's the um, Hobonichi Weekly Supplement A in A6 in 2023. Um, last year, I've been using it very consistently, like almost every single week. Um, obviously, there are some times I didn't use it, which is totally fine. And I use it as more like a memory capture, memory planning. Um, this year, uh, I guess this year has been really crazy. I have been a MIA for a long time. Um, there are a couple months where I was being I was traveling in Asia, Japan for the first time in Korea as well. And then in July I was away from the country and went back home to do personal stuff for an entire month. So I didn't bring all my planners with me and only brought like one planner and stick with that for the entire time. And also I also went to a small yeah, so it's been really crazy. So you can see there are a lot of empty month, empty weeks that I haven't planned, which is totally okay. But this is the, yeah, A6, and and I'm I stuck with the same style what I did um, for the toilet left from last year, where I use it for like a memory keeping, slash like keeping track of some of the tasks. And so some weeks are you know complete empty. Where here I started and kind of not continue and then continue and I think the main reason is because I also have the Hobonichi cousin which is underneath and it does have the larger weekly layout and I think that I because I use the weekly and Hobonichi cousin I kind of ignore and ignore this uh, A6 so I think that is the issue for me where I don't like repeating myself in multiple planners so I tend to kind of neglect one planner completely so I think that's what really happened here um, and then when I eventually got back to it again because it's so cute and small it's portable I think I also stopped using the weekly and the Hobonichi cousin as well so I think that is the prime problem that I discovered um, for me at least that next year I kind of have to watch out for buying planners that already have weekly spread, I should just stick with one system with the weekly spread, weekly um, layout, and then, yeah, it's just like, don't buy multiple, otherwise I feel like overwhelmed when there's a lot of blank pages, because sometimes I feel like I'm not utilizing this planner, and at the same time, it's not cheap, the Hobonichi, Hobonichi cousin, you know, it's, um, I think it's 50... 55 USD or 50 ish after and then convert that into Canadian about like 60 ish so it's definitely not cheap at all like um, I I feel I sometimes do feel guilty of not using it I'm not sure about you like you know you spend so much money on this planner and you're not using it you will feel like guilty like why am I spending so much money on these planners uh, and I'm not using it so that is the issue so here, yeah, so you can see that there are some weeks I use and then some weeks I didn't use, like this entire July wasn't even here. So I didn't bring my larger planner because it's so heavy. Um, so this is the A6 supplement. And so you can see I can, I use some, I switch up the layout. Um, I try to use, um, I was inspired by Moonlight Planning, her style is super amazing and inspire her, inspired by using the Habit Tracker and it didn't work out for me honestly, I feel like it was quite messy um, in my spread, um, when I did it it's like looks so messy, it's 
I don't know. I didn't feel motivated coming back here and marking things out. Mainly, maybe because I am using Happy Tracker in my Hobonichi weeks. That's the reason why I kind of neglected this habit tracker. If I didn't have the weeks, then I probably will rely on this planner more. So I think what I learned is this common problem, just reflecting what I have so far. I feel like, you know, I have information um, duplicated in some areas and I kind of forgot about and I forget about one system. So what I'll do next year is I'll stick with a few planners. Um, either one planner with just a weekly spread and there's a planner with a daily or, you know, and or monthly as well. So, so yeah, just stick with one system and so that way I'm not duplicating information throughout all the planner system. I feel like that's the number one problem that I'm having is duplicating information and not using it. And then now it, and I'm up with all these blank pages, right? I feel guilty. It's not cheap. <laughs> um... But I want to say, like, although these are some negatives, you know, coming back to it here again and trying to do a different style. And I think I like this style so much. Um, and I miss using fountain pen. And this, that's why it looks so nice on this paper because I'm using fountain pen. Uh, makes me want to use it more. But on the positive note is that I also discovered that I don't really use weekly as much in the Hofi Nishi Cousin. Honestly, I don't really because I have the A6. Um, so I'm wasting space there. Um, but another thing I am discovering is I love the spacing. Oh, wait. I am loving, loving the dailies because it's so much space where I can write notes my feelings, my journal, my thoughts, or anything that had happened, my to-do if I want to break down some tasks, I could write everything in these spread. Um, that's why I really like about Hobonichi Cousin and the dailies is where I, there's enough space, I can write that, there's enough like section, I like that. Um, it's not too much space because once I add the washi tape top and bottom, I feel like I have just enough space for me to write some thoughts down. Um, this is what it looked like and I started um, writing some journaling stuff too as well so this is where my notes my messy notes I wrote down things I want to include in my daily which is three things I'm grateful for uh, one to two intention of the day or one to three affirmation um, reading it every day writing things for for that day is um, positive uplifting I think that I'm trying to experiment right now so yeah, so that's what's happening and also including wins at the end of the day, right? The wins at the bottom. Um, definitely not the previous, prettiest, but at least it's very functional. So that's, I, I really like this. And so, so for next year, I feel like I don't need Hobonichi Cousin weekly spread anymore because I don't really use it because I have this. Um, I do love the A5 daily pages so I did try using the Hobonichi like A5 notebook but the grid size is way too small and I didn't feel motivated using it but this grid is just perfect so I might another alternative is I could go for Hobonichi um, day 3 and A5 which is basically um, monthly pages month, monthly pages and then blank grid pages at the back so I could use that when I want whenever I want to write things down but I'm not sure that's just an idea just came up so that is my Hope Inichi Cousin and my A6 then my Hope Inichi Weeks um, honestly this is my go-to planner um, travel on the go uh, you know plan on the go whatever you can say whatever you you name it, it's, this is the planner that I've been loving and using all the time. Um, it's quite messy with other things, but this is adds some personality to it. So I, like, I love it because it feels like I've been using this quite often and I have been using a lot and I love it. Um, let me show you. Um, da -da -da. Okay, so remember how I said that I went on... A trip in July so actually it's not a trip I have to go back home 
um, in Canada to do a personal stuff for a month. And then and at the end of the month, around that time, I did go for a short like camping trip and stuff like that. Um, so then um, I only had my weeks with me. So then I was able to, you know, pack this in my luggage and my carry on and, you know, drop things down and and I really enjoy it. So it's I don't know I feel like it's working I feel like I should continue to use the Hobonichi weeks but I'm not sure if I should go for weeks or not but it is working I might go for Hobonichi weeks I'm not sure what do you guys think should I continue to buy it if it's working why change the system right that's the common phrase um, so what I have been doing is that um, I might create another video just talking more in depth about Hobonichi weeks but I did have another video on this. Feel free to watch that in my previous video, but this time I did update a few more things. So you can see it's all filled. It's functional. I did add a few sticker. Um, I did add some washi tape. And yeah, it's just, it's so useful because I can overview see everything. But although one day thing is that there is not enough space to kind of break down, I guess, tasks. So that's where my Hopinichi Cousin Daily comes in place, where I can write down my thoughts, break down the task. But I guess that is the downfall. That's, yeah, you had to switch to another notebook. But anyways, what I think is useful because this is keep me accountable. I open this page every single day and I have things like on the left side is events. And then on the right side is all the the tasks or things I need to do or reminders or things that I want to note off. Um, so right on the right. Um, and then sometimes occasionally I'd write like spending with a different color on the side left. You can do that too. And then on the right here, I just, there is some boxes for the same vertical line in that for that day. I wrote um, lunch and dinner. So write down uh, what I'm going to have for dinner, lunch and dinner for that day, kind of like almost like a pre-plan. And if it's something has changed, I'll cross it off and write it again or something different. And then I have this week, which is things that I want to do or reminder notes of things that like basically other or miscellaneous notes that came up suddenly. It could be like things that I saw online that I want to buy or anything. So I'd write down blah, 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 and write down that. But here is the one thing that I have changed, implemented. I started implementing Habit Tracker again, um, Monday to Sunday, the meals, things that I kind of set for this week. But I didn't say which day because I feel like I always change different meal depending on how I feel for that day. So I wrote just number one to five and then I was just pick up whatever meal I selected and write into this section of like the lunch and dinner. Um, to do has been very consistent, which is to do, which is this week, same thing. Okay. This is July because I was away this week notes, but I love this system to do notes, um, pending orders, you want meals and tablet tracker. And yeah, that's about, that's about it. And then my monthly, um, my monthly section is mostly for bills that I need to pay off and, and stuff like that. So anyways, overall, because my Hobi Nichi Weeks is working so well with the overview of appointments, tasks, to do lunch, which is my personal life, to do notes, I, pre I might be repeating some of the information, meal planning, habit trigger. It's kind of making me wonder why do I really need to have Hobi Nichi Cousin um, in the weekly section? Why do I need it when I have, you know, my A6? Because my A6, I can, I can fit all her information in here already. I can, I can, you know, write all my memory planning, right? So the only thing that I'm having problem is, is I tend to love to write down notes, like, like a look notes in like A5 Hobonichi, I mean Hobonichi cousin in the daily section. I like to write down notes, random quotes, things that I found. So I just need to discover, I need to find out like the next step for me, like what, what planner or what system should, should I need to use to be able to capture this information. I feel like when I 
using re regular line of piece of paper or whatnot, writing my notes, I feel like it's not organized because it's loosely paper and it can get lost easily and I want the information to be stored in one place. So I feel like some sort of notebook will do very well for me. But yeah, so I'm pretty confident I'll continue to go with the Hobonichi A6. I am very, very on the line of getting the Hobonichi weeks again during next year. But I need a system to write down my notes. What do you guys think? What should I do? <laughs> I feel like this is the common problem that I've been having for the longest time. Um, anyway, so it's time of those year, time of the year now. It's August, pre-ordering, planners coming up very soon. So I still have time, right? I still have time. Anyways, uh, nice chatting and I'll see you next time. Let me know if you like what planner system you're going for for next year. Bye planner friends.